Hey guys, and welcome back to the very first episode of a brand new series. I call it Get to Know a Pro. The idea is very simple. I play some games with a pro, and while we play, I ask questions about them in and outside the game. I've wanted to do something like this for quite a while, and what better pro to start us off than Rizzo. Rizzo is a staple of the Rocket League community and competitive esports. For each pro I interview, I'm going to ask 20 or so questions catered to getting to know the pro a little bit more, and a couple bonus questions at the end that are specific to the pro I'm interviewing. Hopefully this series will teach you something about the pro lifestyle and mentality as well, and learn what it's like to live in their shoes for a moment. But without further ado, let's get right into the very first episode. All about Rizzo. Enjoy. All right, well, we'll jump into the first question here. So how and when did you get into Rocket League? Um, how and when? Okay, so when it was uh, tw August... 2015, which is a month after the game actually got released. Young, young Rizzo. Yeah, established 2015, so I was 18 at the time. Did you just like find it? Because you played it on PC, right? After the beta? Um, so um, yeah, I, I, I was always on PC, but the way I found it was I would play Minecraft a lot, like, and I had a, like a, well, Discord wasn't even a thing back then. Oh, it's um, true, yeah. But I had like a, a team speak, like a friend group team speak that uh, we would always talk to. And uh, and my Minecraft friends were just like, "Yo, you should get Rocket League." And then it was like the last twenty dollars in my PayPal account. <laughs> You're just like was sure. Used, yeah. Little did you know. Little did you know it was your biggest investment ever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah <exactly. laughs> it's like the stock market. Um, I was like super hesitant until so I was like, I don't know, guys, is it fun? I like asked so many questions before I actually bought it. Yeah. Would you say that like you owe it to your friends to like that you found this game or do you think at some point you would have kind of... Oh yeah, 100% because like, I was I was super hesitant on buying it in the first place and they like pushed me to buy it. They're yeah. just like, yeah, 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 like it'll be fun to play with us. That's like the same story for me. It sounds like that's like for a lot of people. Yeah. Um, but I guess, okay, so sec second question uh, that I had listed here is what got you hooked on Rocket League? Like what, what kept you around, I guess? Uh, after you, you tried it for a few times dude i don't even know the the feeling of the game when did you start playing so <laughs> i just wish no, to no it, uh, i know it's fine um i well i bought the game in november 2015 but i started playing february like i bought it and i was like tried it once oh, okay but i gotcha did, do you think you rocket league had a different feeling back then right it did yeah you but can agree. Okay. I, yeah i don't know what it is because i well oops um i think like the one thing I've noticed is you can't do as much flashy stuff anymore. Like it yeah, used to be, yeah, everything just gets blocked and stuff. Yeah, you used to have like the freedom of doing whatever you want, and that hooked me for the game at the start, for sure. Yeah, I could see that. That I mean, that was basically the same thing with me. Um, well, I didn't necessarily the flash stuff because I queued solo standard all the time. Like that was the oh, only, gosh. All, the only, <laughs> and like the number one place I always played. And so I met a bunch of people through solo standard. Like, aren't you devastated that it's gone? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm fine now. Uh, that's funny. But, uh, yeah, I don't know, just... I just had a lot of fun playing it. It was just one of those things where I just kept wanting to play. Would you say part of I it mean, is, like, improving? That you were, like, improving at a rate? Pro I probably wanted to be better than my Minecraft friends, yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. and I just kept playing. But then I played, like, 14 hours a day, and then they couldn't keep up. <laughs> yeah, that's what I did with my oh. friend, too. We, we were duo queuing for the longest time. I remember playing on my, my breakout taxi car. It was, like, a, <laughs> oh, <laughs> a yeah. breakout with the white, the yellow stripe, or black stripe, and a taxi yeah. topper. Uh, but yeah, I, I played with him until like silver, and then I didn't really, uh, I don't know, I, I felt like I could play fat, like more, so I like got into gold back in the first season. And I think a lot of people don't even know that gold was like the highest rank other than platinum back then. Um, who would you say was your biggest inspiration, or is still your biggest inspiration, uh, in Rocket League, I guess, back in the day, or even now? I wouldn't say I have like a huge inspiration today, really. Um, You're your own inspiration. Yeah. <laughs> no, not really. But back then, it was so cool to watch Cux play. Oh and yeah. Like, Any and everything he like he would he would stream with his mic muted. Do you remember these? He would, yeah, I have just caught the the butt end of that too because I started playing like right when he stopped like streaming. Yeah. But uh, oh no, what a, what a dunk. Um, but yeah, he his he was such a mystery to me. Yeah, he was so cool to watch. Okay, so yeah, I mean, yeah, I guess, because, like, now that we're, like, pros and, or whatever, oh no, um, yeah, it's kind of hard to say that we're, like, inspired by somebody, because we're kind of always pushing to improve, but, yeah, I say for me, yeah, it was, it was either between Cooks or, or even Kronovi back in the day, when he started streaming. 
You know, I never actually watched Crow, like, because I didn't know that he was getting like 20k viewers at the start of the yeah, game. Yeah, I know, right? It's crazy. I didn't know that until he randomly told me. Well, it wasn't random, but he told me for some reason. Can't remember why. But, yeah, I, I had no idea about that. And so I wasn't actually, I was just playing the game nonstop. That's so I didn't have time for Twitch. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Grinding just, myself. Just, just grinding to beat your Minecraft friends. <laughs> exactly. So I didn't even know people streamed the game. And then when I figured out, I uh, saw Cux. And that was basically the one person I watched. Like, oh, Cux is streaming. <laughs> it actually, yeah, it was cool to see him and even Scrub back in the day. I remember him getting really mad at Scrub. <laughs> the old rivalry they had. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, at what moment did you think you could go pro? Or, like, did you know that you could kind of go pro? Like, what part of the game was like, okay, you know what? I can see myself being one of the best. Uh, you know, I never really had the intention to go pro. <laughs> it just kind of happened. <laughs> a lot like of people, the, yeah. I feel like it's a con uh, like a conscious decision. Like, okay, I'm going to really try for this. Um, I think nowadays that's kind of the case. But we, we didn't even have a pro scene back when we started, right? Yeah, exactly. There wasn't, um... There wasn't anything to strive for back yeah, then yeah, because true. there was no scene. What are you talking about? Just... Those ESL tournaments were some big money, man. It was like yeah, seventy-five dollar tournaments. <laughs> I guess if I were to pick any sort of moment, it would be like because I teamed with in season one. I teamed with Low Five and Insolences. Yeah, and I was, I, I we just qualified for RLCS like season one. I was like, oh, well, I guess I'm in the league now. Get a few in my head before, so because whenever we're focused on the game, it's actually really hard to glance away. Yeah, I know. That's like part of why this game's so hard to. Oh, oh we get the same guys <laughs> again. Part of why this game's so hard to again. stream because you, uh, you have to like constantly look at the screen. Yeah, it's too much focus in this game. So you brought in a second. You you brought it up a little bit ago about how your first team was Pocket Esports. Oh, I just said it. Oops. <laughs> uh, with uh, Insul and and Low Five, but did you? Uh, what's your history in, as far as like teams goes? The first people I played with were. Well, the first person I played with a bunch was Corelli, actually. Oh yeah, he's a caster but, now. And yeah, the casters or the caster. <clears throat> um, so I played with Corelli and Magic Goodies, and then there was a um, a player from Colombia that I played with a lot. His name was Joe Dorini. Oh yeah, and wasn't he was, like Jarelli's Goodies or something? Was the name? Or? Yeah, that was that was our team name. Uh, Jarelli's Jure, Goodies or Jarizzo's Goodies. Jarelli's Goodies was the initial name because <laughs> Corelli was on it, and then I don't know what happened, and then it was Jarizzo's Goodies. Because That's, I took <laughs> he took up his spot. That's yeah. funny. Um, and then it was, I, and then that was like you went to season one, right? Yeah, and like we just played ESLs together. It wasn't really like a team sort of thing. It was kind of just like, you guys want to play in these? And like I, I never had the intention again of like joining teams and stuff like that. Because you were you made like Minecraft videos before that, right? Like yeah. Yeah, I was a Minecraft YouTuber. I, granted, I was like basically done at the time with that because I was just so burnt out and bored. Like I had no ideas and yeah, yeah, it just wasn't worth it. And yeah, really? and then I just started playing Rocket League a bunch and yeah. Definitely found your place here. Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, <laughs> um, that's cool. Uh, and then you obviously were on G2 uh, for like a very, very long time after that. I think like, wasn't it like you were almost not going to be on a team or something? You were not going to play after? The whole yeah yeah so those were or it was that team and then it was me low five insolences and then low five stepped down and then we grabbed zane jackie and after zane me and insolences then it was g2 um that's crazy quite the path yeah it's awesome well that's uh it's good that you got it like a really good team because yeah you're one of the like probably my one of my favorite teams to watch even like i'm out of rlcs now like i still like like watching you guys because you have such a unique play style yeah uh, what's next? Oh yeah, if you if you didn't play Rocket League competitively, would you still play this game? I think I know the answer to this one, but I'm curious to hear from you. Uh, I would play it for strictly content. Okay, yeah. Uh, besides that, no. Like, I wouldn't... There's, uh, I mean, my main, like, motivation and the way I have fun in this game is by competing and, like, you know, working with the boys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to try you to get better. Plot it in so, for scrims. Uh, yeah, exactly. So if I didn't have that, then there's no point. Yeah. Would you say, like, it's all fun and games in scrims? Or, like, it's more like, you know, like, strictly, you know, you're clocking in. I guess it's, like, half and half, I guess. Because you want to have fun uh, on a team, but... Yeah, we, we we take it seriously, but we also just, like, try to enjoy it. Yeah. But that's part of right. being a good team, if, too. If you start getting, like, constantly tilted throughout every scrim, you're just gonna... Uh, spiral. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. 
Oof. Okay, so that's that's question number seven. Question number eight. Uh, what is your favorite game to play besides Rocket League? And this one I actually don't know the answer to. Cause, I mean, you've played like quite a few different games. I, I don't like play anything else. Like at this moment, the only <laughs> other thing I've played in the past few weeks is like ARAM on League of Legends. Oh yeah, but, the classic. Yeah. I mean, right now with the season, it's so busy that it's like hard to. Uh, yeah. It's hard to find time, but I know you were you were like doing some role playing on Minecraft <laughs> for a little bit. Yeah, there. that was that was a lot of fun, having like the the custom server. Everybody yeah. was super into it too. I love that. Now, what's your favorite? I mean, you said you did say you play ARAM, so I pr probably probably League of Legends. But what's your favorite esport to watch other than Rocket League? Uh, probably League. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. I, I don't really actually watch much other stuff. I've tried to watch Dota. And it's like I've played it a bit, but it's still so confusing. I feel like I don't know anything about it. Ooh! House close. <laughs> <laughs> nice try. Yeah, I never watched any Dota, but. And your I, boys. I, mean, I played a, a lot of League. Your boys made it pretty far, too. On uh, G2 like, and Worlds. Yeah. I watched the, the last game. Unfortunately, they did drop in fourth, but it's not bad. Oh, yeah. Um, What do you do, like to do outside of Rocket League, like on your downtime, like on a day to day basis? Dude, recently I. Oh. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Recently, I have not done much because of all the, like, this, um, this whole split and stuff has just made me so busy with Rocket League. Like, I just, I've been playing so much. Yeah. So Which I, is, I really haven't done much else besides Rocket League. I guess it's not, like, a bad thing, per se, but it is, like, it does get, get to you, obviously. You gotta take a bit of a break here and there. Yeah. I, I, if anything, I'll say candle making. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I see people ask you questions about candles all the time on stream. That's so yeah, I know. Um, I feel like that's a big thing that we struggle with. Oh, we got new people. Um, like as pros, I feel like the second anyone sees you, it's like they they instantly lean forward, <laughs> punch <laughs> their back. <laughs> like they they yeah they become e like uh <laughs> what's like what's they called the guy from Frankenstein with the, the hunchback, but. Yes, yeah, oh. so, like. Oh yeah, I know what you're talking about. Uh, yeah, it's not Eeyore. That's from that's from like <laughs> that's, what, <laughs> that's like Winnie the Pooh or something. But anyway, you know what I mean. Like, so it's kind of cool to just play casual here and there. And yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah, but what what method of training do you find uh, that works the best to improve on yourself? So like, as a team, probably obviously scrims. But do you find scrims the best for individual training, or do you still think that like, you know, rank to get more time on the ball or? Uh, I I on I think it's um. I think it's still scrims because it's all about like adjusting to that pace. So right. you want to be playing against the best people possible. So when you're scrimming and you know playing against all the other RLCS teams, that's going to be your best practice possible. Yeah. And do you think that like it's still smart to you know find a team as soon as possible, like for new people, like and just play with them, or like work on themselves? Uh, for new people? I mean, how new? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, let's say, like, gold players. Like, do you think they should get, like, a gold squad and, like, kind of work with them? Or, or should they experience more and more players, I guess? I don't, I don't really see a problem with that. Like, play with your, play with your homies. Yeah. I guess unless you're the competitive type and you get, like, really salty. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't make a team with your friends if you get salty easily. Yeah, there you go. Lose your friends. So, yeah, probably still scrims then. The best, the best way. I mean, yeah, it's definitely for, for you sure. guys. Uh, it's definitely the best. What is your favorite goal you've ever scored in RLCS? You gotta, you gotta go in deep into the memory bank for this one. I don't, I really don't know if it was my favorite, but it's definitely the most memorable. There was, I don't even remember which dream hack it was. Probably when we got second place in. <laughs> um, <laughs> That's funny. But there is, it was either a quarterfinal or a semifinal where energy. Um, oh no. We played against energy, and I think torment was subbed in for this one. Okay. Oh, that was uh, that it. was in uh, that was the first Germany. Yeah, the first Leipzig one then. Yeah, that was the first Leipzig. I remember that one. Uh, is Ghost. Yeah. Okay. So there was uh, yeah, it was uh, quarters or semis. I can't remember. And then wait, I think we went all the way to game seven or game. I'm pretty sure it's game six actually. Um, but as soon as the clock hit zero seconds, I just sniped the bang or like top right corner. Oh, dude, I remember that live because I was there. Like, oh, that was yeah. The, yeah. Everyone freaked out in the audience. That was the, cool. That one felt so good. What 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 do you want to see out of this career? Like, what is your ultimate end goal? Um, I mean, that it would probably be. I actually, you know, my initial goal is just to win any like major tournament or like major LAN event, and then. 
I kind of did that with winning E League in 2017. Granted, it was a while ago. True. So did you like and reach what? for bigger and higher dreams? I guess after that, or are you kind of like happy with you know your career at this point? I mean, I would love to win RLCS, definitely. For sure. I think that's but like. If, I think we. If my career ended tomorrow, I would still be satisfied. Like, I wouldn't be disappointed. Yeah, for sure. With how it went. So my next question for you is, where do you think you'd be, or what you would, what would you be doing if it wasn't for RL Esports? And this sort of we talked with it a little bit uh, at the start, but just like specifically, like what did you see? What would you see yourself doing if it wasn't for like, you know, kind of becoming a pro naturally? Like, are you saying if I stopped right now or if I was never a pro? Well, like, if you were never pro, where would you have been? Like, yeah, like, go go back five years. You didn't pick up Rocket League, you know. Where, where do you think you'd be? Like, would you be finishing studies or? Yeah, I probably I probably would have went to school. Oh, wow. Oh, what about? Yeah, I probably good. would have went to school and then, um... Well, honestly, I... I like, oh, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I mentioned it. Um, I mentioned it a few times, like before of just like how I would want to go to school, but I still never knew what I really wanted to study in the first place. Is there anything you're really so. interested in now that you have like more, you know, I guess? Actually, probably yeah, probably something with programming and stuff like that. I'm um, going to become the next map maker. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I just say that because you're in the call. Yeah, yeah, that's funny. <laughs> no, but probably, probably something along those lines because I don't know, that stuff really interests me in like, uh, like web design and just making something work you know yeah what I mean? for sure did you ever like like the redstone stuff in minecraft <laughs> I, I was never super into it no but i i made a calculator in that thing <laughs> really? yeah i followed like i followed like a tutorial sort of on it but it's actually yeah that was a lot of fun that's sort of like the first little taste of you know online programming yeah i think i was like 12 i would love, like... love to do something like that i feel like like my my by myself yeah, uh, like yeah. if i was to learn it you know and be independent or yeah, something yeah. like that like work-wise i wouldn't want to follow as somebody else's thing and do there yeah yeah that's cool yeah, though i used to i used to actually um when i would make my minecraft thumbnails i just downloaded um like already pre-made models and stuff but i used i it wasn't oh my god <laughs> <laughs> what was that i, I didn't it. use blender but it was something 4d i'm pretty sure i can't cinema remember. 4d Probably that, yeah, and I would I would make my Minecraft skins and like adjust it. Oh, I, that's I think sick. that is really cool. Yeah, 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 that's cool. Yeah, so like something like art artsy or, or programmy. Yeah. Uh, okay, what's the next question? Um What would you say the one th there's uh, yeah, what would you say the one thing is that nobody knows that comes with being a pro unless you are one? Like if if someone was in your shoes, what would they all of a sudden be like, oh whoa, that's actually like way different than I expected? Well, oh, no. okay, honestly, I, there's a few, few things I feel like that some people might not think, but it could also be obvious to other people. So, just yeah. in general, that, like, oh, God. <laughs> Being a pro is stressful at times. Like, it's not just playing games. You don't just kind of play video games. Like, you have to you have to perform and you have to do well. So, yeah. having that expectation and then maintaining it is not something that's super easy, especially when you're playing against people who are doing the same exact thing of trying to be the best. Yeah, it's and like that doesn't compute know. robot wise, right? Uh, if you've yeah. got two robots playing each other, one has to lose and uh Yeah. And that's kind of what you guys aim for like now even. It's like whoever is the most consistent and basically robotic cuz right now we're all kind of freaky at this game. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Um yeah, it's cool. Um I think to it. I think also like we're in a unique position to talk about this, but when when we were uncertain of where this game would go, that was also very I don't know what the word is concerning, I guess. Oh, yeah. You, you like, kind of ask yourself if you're wasting your time. Yeah, and it, it, that question was definitely asked quite a few times. And, and my parents were like, when I was deciding to go into a pro scene and stuff, like they were concerned about it when I was in engineering. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah, nice. <laughs> <laughs> you brought me into that, too. Oh, no. Right back to it. Woo. I'm doing that full reset thing again. You know, the other thing is, is that like, I mean, I feel like I've just gotten used to it or whatever, which is sad to say. Um, because you have to have, like, pretty thick skin to just be a oh, pro. Like, oh, or a, content, <laughs> or a content creator in general. But somebody will always, like, can I cuss? <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, go for it. <laughs> okay, somebody Talk will always shit, shit talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, okay, so, like, people think I get, like, salty about things. I like to just call people out on things a lot yeah. more. I think I'm just outspoken because I'm a little older and I just don't care what people think of me, but... Yeah. Um, it's just definitely like, you have to have thick skin. You can't be bothered by people, you know, calling you uh, different words. 
And I, yeah. I know that, especially when, like, I know you guys had, like, a period where, uh, like, you guys weren't performing as a team and everyone was just like, yeah. kick Rizzo, kick Rizzo, kick Rizzo. It's <laughs> yeah. like, you guys have no idea what Rizzo does for that team. Like, it's just, you know, a tough spot. <laughs> yeah, it's not, like, I don't know. I think it was a around. Lot of people, and a lot of people, like, I mean, pro-wise, it's not, like, their initial thinking. I understand people... Like, in that specific scenario, I understand people want to see, like, the roster succeed or whatever. Yeah. But people can actually, as as adults or pros, can... <laughs> discuss and work, improve. Yeah, discuss and improve, work through their problems. It's not initially just, like, kick this person unless there's... And that's you know, funny you bring that up, too. It's funny you bring that up because uh, I think that the, the pro scene has definitely aged, like, as far as, like, the average age of players. Like, I would say the average age used to be 15. Now it's, like... Yeah. Maybe like eight. Gone, gone up a little bit. Yeah. I mean, like, when they when they added like the thirty two teams, it got even younger. I feel like. Oh, did it get younger again? <laughs> yeah. Because now there's so many there's so many um. Like random teams that are just coming in with the new prodigies, basically. Uh, yeah. Exactly. Oh, what a shot. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I think I know the answer to this one, this one too. What would you say is your least favorite part of Rocket League, and would you change it? Because like I put the would you change it part because like you might not like it, but you feel like it's. It needs to be there. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's fair. Um, but yeah, what, what would you say is your least favorite part of Rocket League? And that could be competitive or just the gameplay itself. I mean, besides just like bumps not working properly, I don't think the game itself has anything that should be removed. Like, like the only thing was like solo standards <laughs> that I actually, that was the only thing I ever actually wanted to remove from the game. Right. Um, but besides that, I think everything's pretty fun. Oh, I was gonna say that. And the next question is, uh, yeah, what would you think should be added? And I did see your podcast recently. How about? Oh, you saw that? Yeah, I was watching it. We we're gassing you up. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my nice ego boost. <laughs> yeah, I think for sure the the thing that needs to be added is like um, basically everything you've done. <laughs> 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 no, like just custom map support, just an in-game way of. Basically, the way Fortnite does it, the cre their creative mode where you can just put in a code and you can go on a map. So if they had like a, a system in place where they provided models and then people could make maps with those models right. and just upload them, yeah, that yeah. is all it. Because they already have an uploading system with the training packs, right? Kind of. Yeah, I mean, they, and they haven't touched that since they put it in the game, which yeah, is Yeah, which it, it still <laughs> could also be adjusted, but <laughs> yeah, that's okay. So like the thing is, all they would need to do is just allow us to connect directly to another player and... I wouldn't complain anymore because if you just oh, yeah. like that's all they would need right is just somebody to like just somebody to host it like how we do it in Hamachi and all that stuff but just yeah. do it through Steam or, or Epic Games without all the, the fuss, uh, yeah. annoying stuff yeah um I I, I did uh drop a, a group DM like to a bunch of creators and you're in there uh about a petition that I want to start yeah and I think that would actually be you know, if we could get a substantial amount of people, like, what do you think Rocket League? Like, what number would you say Rocket League would be? Like, you know what? Yeah, we'll do it. Like, I don't, I don't think they will. You don't think they will? <laughs> Let's say a no. million players signed it. You know. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, I could see them. Like uh, changing if, their mind. Then. Yeah, if no a million way. players, or even half. I feel, a million. I feel like that's fair. They would be like, okay, we should really consider this guy. You know. <laughs> yeah. What do you think is next after your esports career? Like, do you think it's uh, just straight content? <laughs> or, oh, know, yeah. Yeah, I just want to go full-time content after that. I want to be the the John Sandman. The next ninja. The next, <laughs> You're already the halfway next there. <laughs> You're already yeah, halfway. with my headband. <laughs> yeah. yeah, for those of you guys who don't know Rizzo, he has a headband, in the like a, a ninja headband that he wears when he starts to sweat a little more. I've been pretty bad at getting uploads out, but I've been able to stream, so at least it's something. Do you, uh, one, do you, one or the other. Do you have a full-time editor or like... I do, yeah. Um, but there, I don't know. There's just something I don't like putting out solo videos all too much. Me neither, actually. Yeah. And it's, it's very hard for me to find a time with anybody. It's like solo videos are like streaming, but no one's watching <laughs> while yeah. you're while you're recording. It's crazy. And that's all the the you know generic pro questions. But then I have uh, three questions that are kind of catered towards you, and we've kind of discussed a little bit of them. But just so we. Uh, I guess we can reiterate. Um, the first one is, how does a team house, this one we haven't talked about, how does a team house change your dynamic all around? Like, as a, you know, life, esports, health, all that stuff? Well, I, I, don't, I don't even know the word for it, but it's uh, it's a lot different, that's for sure. Like a good different? <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, I mean, it's not bad. That's like I'm not not complaining about it. Yeah, it's yeah. just a whole it's a whole different lifestyle because I lived with my girlfriend and then Oh, and then you had to move? Yeah, now I'm currently over here. It's just with there at the team house, so it's like it's definitely different. Yeah. Going from but they each have their pros and cons, I guess, obviously. Yeah, yeah, living with your girlfriend uh, with a bunch of dudes. So. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's, it's quite a difference. Um, yeah. Would you say, like... Oh, lifestyle yeah. was, I feel like... Oh, my bad. But, hey. like, I got a juicy answer, you know what I'm saying? Hey, go for it, go for it. <laughs> this is all about you, man. This is this is uh, your, time, your, your time to shine, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Um, with... Like, since it's a team house, I just feel like there's so much more motivation to play the game. Like, I really have nothing else to do besides play the game while Is I'm it here. far from where you live, or is it kind of like a drive? Is it what? Is it far from where you live normally? Like, you're the team house? I don't really know where you guys are located. <clears throat> oh, I live in, uh, or I moved from Texas to New York. The team house is in New York. Okay, that's, that's not too bad. A couple hour flight, I guess. <laughs> yeah, but it's not a drive. <laughs> not a drive, uh -oh. for sure. <laughs> so I guess you had to, like, uh, like you, you didn't bring much like from home you just kind of no no i didn't bring much at all <laughs> i wear like the same clothes all the time because i mean i like on stream like after i basically have like a, a week's worth of clothes or something so i wash and then repeat <laughs> <laughs> you're just so naked from the waist I'm, down you know <laughs> <laughs> no when i'm streaming it's just like did you wear that shirt like a few days ago i was like yeah i just washed like, it. I don't have much on, else. <laughs> that's funny yeah, it's definitely hard. Uh, you didn't try going shopping like locally, just trying to get more clothes. You know, over here everything is actually like closed with COVID. That's like, good. That's good though. That's a good yeah. sign. I meant like before. I guess I don't know. Like I know you were at the team house for a while, and then you guys went home. I think it was like when the whole COVID thing started. Yeah, we we I just got I just got into the team house when COVID started or something like oh, that. Oh, that's rough. <laughs> that's awkward yeah. timing. Oh, mid. Let's go. Oh. Oh. oh, oh, it's in. Look at you go. Nice. Nice. Good play. Uh, but do you see yourself branching off to other games with content after your pro career is done? Or do you think it'll just be like Rocket League content? I actually, I want to do the same exact thing John does where his uh, YouTube channel is mainly Rocket League and he just kind of streams whatever he wants. Yeah, he's got it. He's got it good, man. That's, well. He's got such a good community that yeah. like, just loves watching him. He's such, such a genuine personality. Yeah, he's. I, I, I'm always so curious how this dude has so much energy. But yeah, and people think that it's like, like some people say it's fake when they're not, when they don't know him. But uh, <laughs> yeah, it's like that's not. literally him, man. <laughs> Which is crazy. Uh, oh, that's a good flick. That's nice. All right. So yeah, you want to do like what game? What games would you want to get into? Like sponsored games or like just stuff you want to play? <laughs> no, it would just be like any variety, just anything I'm feeling at the time. I don't want to like super like dive into a game and play it for five years. You know? Yeah, I yeah. Do this all again. <laughs> oh man, I've been but, watching uh, you play. Well, I watched you play Baldur's Gate a little bit here and there. Oh uh, yeah, I, I ended up stopping playing that just because. Well, actually, just because I didn't really have time all yeah. that much. The For major, sure. but once the major is over, I might hop back onto it. Are you a, a fan of Phasmophobia at all? I played that a little bit. Um, I'm love. Like I've been what? loving it, man. I don't know. It's you like still playing. Yeah, it's still playing. Well, I re recently just got like a mod that lets you play with eight people, and that is hilarious. Oh wow! Yeah, it's really fun. Oh, look at him go! Nice play. Um, um, but the final question here is: What are your favorite types of videos to record uh, on Rocket League? Uh, the ones I have the most fun on are probably any any custom map thing, for the most part. Um, what about your uh, your old one v one series with John? I, I, I was gonna I, say that too. That was I was gonna say that's that was a my good favorite. time. <laughs> yeah, those are my favorites, and then any sort of custom map stuff. Like I don't find myself watching too much Rocket League content. I do definitely watch it because like obviously I want to stay on top of things and see what people are up to. Um, but yeah. I definitely watched every single one of your 1v1s <laughs> with with John. Like, even me. Really? Myself. Yeah, yeah. It was funny to watch. Back yeah, when uh, John was a gigantic car. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's like my most iconic video. Yeah. The that's giant cool. car 1v1. Yeah. If you, were, if you were to... I know this is sort of a separate question, but if you were... If you uh, could just teleport into a different game and be as, I guess, famous or as good as you are, would you pick a different game or would you still do Rocket League? Uh, I feel like, well, 
But let's say you could be you could be uh, basically a uh, faker or something from League, like the oh, equivalent. League. Of, yeah, like would you would you trade it for that? Um, well, I don't know. Is it like the same? Do I get to keep my community that I have? Or yeah, yeah, it? yeah. It's like you have the same people, you know all the people, and they for yeah, some reason. Yeah, I think I think I'd probably make a swap then. Oh yeah. If that was the case, uh, probably. Yeah, take that, Rocket League. <laughs> I don't know. Well, I mean, I've just been playing for a very long time. Yeah, that's you know? true. Is there anything to spice it up? That's, um, that's, that'd be, that'd be, that's, that's honestly a, a good call. 8,000 hours in Rocket League. Oh. Um, yeah, it's a little bit much. But I don't even know what I would switch to because I wouldn't want to play League. Like, I would not enjoy that as much. Oh, I see. Yeah, okay. That's, that pretty much wraps it up with the questions, though. Uh, that was a lot of fun to uh, discuss with you. It was, Definitely stuff that I even learned about you that I didn't know, which is cool to see because I feel like as, we as pros kind of know everything about everybody. But yeah, it was good. Thanks for thanks for joining in. Uh, appreciate you coming in for the first episode. One last thing before we do go though, uh, where where do people catch you? Uh, and that's everything like your live channel and stuff as well. Um, oh, so my Twitch is just Rizzo R I Z Z O, and then I mean if you go to YouTube and just look in the just type Rizzo, that should pop up as <laughs> yeah, well. Basically anything Rizzo, you'll find them. Yeah. Yeah, anything Rizzo. Even even uh, well, you're Rizzo TV on Twitter, aren't you? Yeah, Rizzo underscore TV. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, definitely check him out if you haven't already. I'm sure that most of you guys do know him already. But if you're anybody new that's coming into the game and you want to check him out, definitely go follow him on those platforms. But until next time, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the first episode, and we'll catch you guys in the next one.